driver draw, drawing attention to navigating a traffic nightmare, a dangerous area exit leaving dozens of drivers stuck in traffic on the interstate. That video going viral tonight and it's catching a congresswoman's attention. And now she is getting answers on the plan to make the exit safer. The problem is popping up in O'Fallon, Illinois on eastbound I-64. This is at the Greenmount Road exit. Our Nathan Vickers has been monitoring traffic there all day long. And Nathan, what are you seeing at this hour? Yeah, Corey, you can get an idea of what happens because of the narrow width of this exit ramp here. So cars come up and then they don't have anywhere to go because it doesn't split off into a right and left turn lane until about 40 yards that way. So traffic's backing up right now. And one woman uh, captured that problem at its worst and posted it to TikTok. Driving up to the shop's off exit 16 on a drizzly Friday offers just a glimpse. Slowed down and I looked and I was like, wow, we're really on the interstate. Of the kind of backup Tisha Crawley captured on her way home, spilling out into the highway as drivers shifted to the left and right shoulders of a single lane exit ramp. Community knowledge, I guess, if you will, um, to give people that space. With a little SpongeBob music, she posted her frustration to TikTok, soon getting thousands of views and comments. A lot of the people in the comments were people around around that area. So they even said that this is a problem. They even said that they recognize that this is an issue. Turns out she's not alone. It can get back to pretty bad. I've seen so many vehicles just stuck there. It just makes the traffic even worse over there. And as Crawley's video took off, it drew the attention of Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski. This is a very dangerous um, exit. Um, up to four people have actually died at that exit over the last five years. So this is in need of real investment. IDOT says new development in O'Fallon has outgrown the exit. It's a rapidly growing area. Spokesperson Paul Wapple says there's a plan in the works to widen the ramp, likely clearing the design phase sometime next year. The department's interstate project is completed, though the additional exit lanes should definitely improve mobility at the location and reduce those rush hour backups. Now Budzinski's office is asking the state to fast track. Was not expecting it. And Crawley's glad her traffic TikTok took off. Hoping the days of long waits at the light are drawing to a close. I want to be able to get home safely and, you know, not getting stuck in traffic for something like that. Well, unfortunately, IDOT says there's no quick fix for this exit ramp here. However, they have been able to do some work recently on the lights in this intersection up here to help optimize the flow of traffic through that intersection, thus freeing up some room on the exit ramp. Reporting live in O'Fallon, Illinois, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan, thank you. Today's